This video is for Nova Online Math 161, and today we're looking at the remainder theorem from section 2.3. Use the remainder theorem to evaluate the polynomial for the given value of x. So we all know how to evaluate a function. We can plug in negative 2 into this, and we'll get the answer. But when they ask you to use the remainder theorem, then we have to use the synthetic division or long division to do this. I'll use synthetic division because it's easier. Um, so let's put that number negative 2 because they want us to evaluate f of negative 2. So put that negative 2 in the little box in the corner. And we're going to write the coefficients of f of x out here. f of x equals negative 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 1x plus 4. So the leading coefficients, starting with leading coefficient of negative 3, I'm writing negative 3, positive 2, negative 5, negative 1, and positive 4. Those are the coefficients of f of x. All right, now let's start the synthetic division. You bring the original, the, the first number straight down without doing anything. So negative 3 comes down. But now we're going to multiply this negative 3 with the number in the box, negative 2. So if you do negative 2 times negative 3, you will get positive 6. Add these two numbers now. 2 plus 6, we're going to write down 8 now. And now we're back to multiply. We're going to multiply negative 2 times positive 8. That is negative 16. And we must add these two numbers now. Negative 5 plus negative 6 is negative 21. Once the number is down here, we were back to multiplying. Negative 2 times negative 21 is positive 42. And I'll add these two numbers together. That will give me positive 41. Lastly, I will multiply negative 2 times 41. And that is positive, or I'm sorry, negative 82. Our final answer will be 4 plus negative 82, and that is negative 78. So the remainder is negative 78, right? So what we can say is that f of negative 2 must be equal to negative 78. That is how you are using the remainder theorem to evaluate a function. But now, if you want to double check your answer, it doesn't hurt to plug in that negative 2 into the function. So let's take a look, okay? So watch, when I plug in negative 2 into that function using the direct substitution, we're going to get negative 3 times negative 2 to the 4th power plus 2 times negative 4 to the 3rd power minus 5 times negative 2 squared minus negative 2 plus 4. Guess what? That number should be equal to. That better come out to be negative 7. What? Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, let me double check. Sometimes I'll be making the silliest typos ever. No, yeah, notice right there. I made a typo right there. So I'm going to go fix that to negative 2. And that does come out to be negative 78. So just because you, you saw me making a silly typo right there, and that does happen when you are taking an exam or doing your homework. So um, I think it's good to have a second method. Um, honestly, if I am evaluating a function, I will just plug it in if I have a calculator with me. But when I use the synthetic division to do this, we didn't need a calculator to multiply a number by negative 2 or add. So um, you can use the remainder theorem to evaluate a function instead of just doing a direct substitution like that, okay? 